السلام عليك زين الأنبياء السلام على بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا uh, I really didn't want to dilute anything that Imam Suluki just said and all the other previous speakers because Imam Suluki seems that he just spoke from his heart and brought something that was really sweet and true. And so I'm going to speak on the same similar topic that Imam Suluki brought by telling you a story from the past and how it relates to our present. Everyone knows the famous Imam Madik ibn Anas. He's one of the greatest scholars that we have. And he's associated with the law, that he has a school of law. But in those days, there was no separation in the deen between the law and the doctrine. It was all the truth and it was all the sunnah. So he's an imam of everything. And maybe people don't realize at that time there was nothing called having a sheikh, but he did have a sheikh. And Imam Malik, he said that he had 600 shuyukh. He, he sought knowledge from 600 people. 300 of them were directly children or grandchildren of Sahaba. And 300, a little bit more distant. But he only spoke explicitly about three. When you look at his books, or what's written about his sayings, he spoke about three. One of them, he mentioned him by name. And he, he just taught him the main principle that that sheikh taught him. And that was Rabi'at al-Ra'i. Taught him about Amal Ahl al-Madina. And how important it is. Alfun al-Alf, khairun min wahid and wahid. Then he spoke about al-A'raj, but in a veiled way. And he said, sometimes there's such a sheikh, you go to him for over 30 years. And a few people knew who he was talking about. But he veiled that name. And then he spoke at length about the third sheikh. And this we could say, if there was such a thing as a sheikh in Tariqah or in Tasawwuf, that was Imam Malik's sheikh. And this is where Imam Malik learned his love of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa We know the end result. He never wrote a riding beast in Medina. He never left the city of Medina except for a fard or a confirmed sunnah. He considered that his personal fatwa. To leave the city of the Prophet ﷺ for a mubah, for a permissible reason, to him, this was wrong. He only left for hajj and umrah. That's it. Because the, the book of Allah forced him to leave. He, say, he never said... He said, you don't say the grave of the Prophet, you say the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They ne he, around the Haram, where the Medina, uh, uh, where, where the Masjid is, way before everyone else took his shoes off, he would take his shoes off. He would never sit in the Masjid in any spot except right by where the edges of the grave was. He never gave a hadith without putting on his best clothes and putting on aytr. And he was only seen moving rapidly moving quickly, walking very quickly, one time. And that was when Harun al-Rashid, the Khalifa, was at the back of the mosque, and he said, Malik, we have a question. And he was seen almost running by saying, lower your voice, the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah said, you don't raise your voice in the presence of the Prophet. His sanctity in afterlife is as his sanctity in, in life. And there was only time that he was seen walking quickly. So you see the end result, and we all know the Maliki fiqh and the Maliki madhab is the madhab that raised the mawlid. It was the first madhab to unanimously have the mawlid. And they called it Eid al-Mawlid and applied all the rules of Eid to it and said in their books, you don't fast. On the 12th of Rabi al-Awwal, and one of them which Tahid imams, he saw a young scholar come visit him on Rabi al-Awwal, 12th of Rabi al-Awwal. And he offered him food. He said, I'm fasting. He said, it's Eid. You don't fast on Eid. Break your fast. And the famous Qadi Ayyad wrote all the 
Hukuk of the Muslims. So that's the end result. That end result did not come from nowhere. That end result came from his mujalasa. He wasn't born like this. His sitting constantly as a youth to his sheikh, who was his sheikh, Sayyidina Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. The fifth grandson of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa You will not find, and I challenge you, go find Imam Malik, the, the reserved, formal Imam, speaking at length about anybody except Jafar al-Sadiq. He said, I was young, and I would sit at his feet day after day after day after day. And I'd never seen him in any situation except reciting the Book of Allah, making salah, or making salah and salam on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, he was the most jovial of men. That means, كان Anytime that he's talked, he will dabble with people, make them laugh, make them smile. He was mazah. He always joked. This is Jafar al-Sadiq. That was his energy. That was his type of personality. He, he, you cannot be with him, except he's going to make you laugh or say something funny. He said, except until the name of the Messenger وسلم, was uttered, then we saw him stop everything he was doing, gaze down, he would start muttering, Salah and Salam on the Prophet وسلم, and his face would change, and his color would change, and the whole mood of the room would change. When the name of the messenger was uttered, Malik looked at this. He's a youth, like some of these youth. They don't know this. they never seen this before. He's looking, and he spends day after day with him, year after year, until his Malik's own family started saying the same thing about him. That means he imitated his sheikh until he became the same exact description, and his family would say, Malik, why is it every time the prophet's name is mentioned, we see your face changing color? We see your mood change. Why? Because he learned it. This love of the Prophet is not something that's an academic. It's learned from people. It is a learned thing. And it's something that has to be renewed all the time. And we have to be in the company of those people all of the time. So Imam Malik ended up taking on all the sifat of his sheikh when it comes to the love of the Prophet ﷺ until he reached through the suhbah of Jafar al-Sadiq. He reached his own maqam. And his own maqam was that he never went to sleep except that he saw the Messenger ﷺ. Until he said, if I wake up having not seen the Messenger of Allah, I would think perhaps I'm a munafiq. Now we brothers and sisters, we also are people of transmission. This is not just textbook things. All of this barakah and all this mahabba of hearts, you see all these hearts are connected. When you come to here, no, there's no negative thoughts. And there's all mahabba between people. This is from the barakah that we're taking from our power source. And that is Al-Habib Omar. Hafizahullah. It always connects to people. It's not theory. It's not because we adopted a theory of love of the Prophet ﷺ. And this is the game plan. No. It is a connection to a human being. As it was for Imam Malik, it's not going to be any different from us. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preserve him. Is by that barakah and that mahabba and following that same suhbah that the salaf had, they followed that suhbah as best as you can. We're so far apart, distanced, but as best as a person can, it's, this path is by following living people as best as we can. And that's why we see all this mahabba and all this peace. You can't, this is not a theory, it's not a plan. It's a rida of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if it falls on one heart, and that rida falls on all those who are attached to that heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always keep us in the suhba of those whose hearts are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let us take from that pipeline and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us and our children until the day we die in the suhba of our shiuk. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Thank you for watching one of Al Maqasid's online educational offerings. Our mission at Al Maqasid is to cultivate holistic learning environments rooted in knowledge, devotion, and service. For more information, please visit our website at almaqasid.org and connect with other online content at almaqasid.org slash connect.